It's very exciting to tell people, oh, I can Tina Turner played here, and you know, Etta James played here multiple times, and that's very glamorous. The fascinating thing is this stuff. Who the heck were these guys? Who were these black men? You know, 1894. And the cool thing is, on the marker from 1922, those families, they're all still here. There's descendants and relatives, and half of them are buried at the St. Rose Cemetery. So the information is around, you know, and of course, there are people that have things, like boxes of stuff, <laughs> that we know that they've given a few little things, and we know they have more. There's a lady that came to the shows with a brownie camera in the 50s and early 60s, mm -hmm. gave us a few photos, um, and then the lady that gave us the bylaws and like this prom ticket from St. Rose de Lima. It's, a, it's sort of like a grand, I don't know what. Mystery. It's it's a mystery. It's like a geological dig. You know, I'm convinced there's stuff buried out on the property. I found a bullet from like the 40s. Most of the old folks, when they come, that's what they say. They 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 talk about their memories. Now, a lot of them, like I said, they won't let me record it. They don't want to be videotaped. You know, and to me, that's a shame. I don't understand why people don't come forward in droves to tell the story to tell their to tell what their family did here or their connection to the hall there's still so much unknown and that is what's exciting